Mwike boasted that nobody can remove the member representing Ogubolo constituency, Edwin Clark. Can you imagine? So why did he make that boast? Is that his place? You know, the, the Mwike himself, himself has gotten to a point where nobody wants to even mind him again because he just opens his mouth and he talks. So according to Vanguard, an elder statesman and leader of the pan Niger Data Forum, Pandev, has accused the National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and the Acting National Chairman of the PDP, People Democratic Party, Omar Damagu, of uh, being part of the political crisis caused by the FCT Minister, Mr. Nwike, to sabotage Fubara's administration. He called on the chairman of both PDP and APC, okay, uh, okay, the chairman of the PDP and APC, to caution the FCT minister to refrain from causing hard work to disrupt Fubara's administration by inciting comments that he made him the governor. He pointed out that both Ganduje and Damago are well aware of Mwike's activities and cannot ignore the looming threat they pose to the stability of River State. He also referenced Mwike's assertive declaration that no one could remove the member representing Ogubolo constituency, implying that such behavior is a prelude to more severe constitutional breaches and uh, potential chaos. So in his letter, he said, News of Mwike aggressively boasted that nobody can remove the member representing Ogubolo constituency. Therefore, one is tempted to guess what this dangerous, diabolical, and mischievous politician can do to breach the constitution and cause a breakdown in law and order in rivers, state, and in the country. <laughs> can you imagine? So what's so special about Ogubolo? Why did the uh, UK make that statement that nobody can remove the Ogubolo, the member representing the Ogubolo constituency? Is it in the House of Rep Senate? or in the House of State House of Assembly. Yeah. So does it mean that yeah, he, will, he will go to any length to protect him and nothing will happen? Of course, Mwiki has his own loyalists across the state, apart from the Joland and uh, several other areas. So, you know, we know that too. I will not be surprised if a member representing a good bolo constituency is also supporting Mwiki. He can, when he sees his supporters, he can say everything, can say anything, you know, that is just his uh, lifestyle. But the question is, why is he bent on causing confusion there? So according to Chief Edwin Clark, he's calling on the national chairman of both PDP and APC, uh, Omar Ganduje and Omar Damagun, uh, okay, Omar Ganduje and Damagun, all of them to come Wike to order. But what Wike is doing is possible, uh, can possibly cause anarchy in River State, and that is not uh, what we want. He's, he's just doing it to, you know, to cause confusion in Fubara's uh, government. Someone say this other states myself. <laughs> but what he's saying is he a lie? It's not now. So why are we saying this other states man? As if, uh, you know, he has done something. So uh, the clerk has called him, has called on both chairmen to talk to Omar Ganduje and uh, so Omar Ganduje and uh, Damago both of them to talk to Mwike to stop doing what he's doing because it's going to just cause more problem in the in the in the in the, in the state. So in a recent statement, a joint leader Edwin Clark called on Abdullahi Ganduje, the national chairman of the APC, and uh, Omar Damago, his counterpart in PDP, to take action against Mr. Mwike the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. This appeal came in uh, in response to remarks made by Wiki in uh, in River State, which Clark believes could incite a crisis in the region, as reported by Daily Post. Yeah. So Clark expressed serious concerns over Wiki's recent comments in which he seemed to take pleasure in causing difficulties for Governor Simonal Fubara. The AGO leader emphasized that such statements have the potential to destabilize River State, a key economic hub due to East significant oil production and the presence of the honored deep sea port. So in his letter, Clark urged this, the leaders 
of Dagira's two major political parties to recognize the gravity of Mwike's actions and their potential to spark unrest. He pointed out that both Ganduje and Damagu are well aware of Mwike's activities and cannot ignore the looming threat by those uh, by uh, the limited right deposed to the stability of river state. So he also referenced Winkers assertive declaration that no one could remove the member representing the Gubolo constituency, implying that such behavior is a prelude to more severe constitutional breaches and uh, potential chaos. So here he Mr. Winke aggressively boasted that nobody can remove the member representing the Gubolo constituency. Therefore, one is tempted to guess what this dangerous, diabolical, and mischievous politician can do to breach the constitution and cause a breakdown in law and order in the country. And uh, people are already in the comment section reacting to the statement that this man has just made, uh, doing Clark. Somebody saying, Clark, you are not a good father. Your two sons are fighting instead of bringing them together. For settlement, you are pouring more fuel to the fire. You are not fit to live among human beings or call father. You are in the best position to invite them for round table and school them. But you go on national TV and talk to rubbish at your age. Reverse people need peace. Nigeria needs also needs peace. But you are the leader of troublemaker in, Niger in Nigeria. So I advise you to stop nonsense you are parading on national TV. Can you imagine? This is insulting because this guy, all this arrival will come and put him out in a, in a South South matter. Okay. Because if some elders are indeed troubleshooters, why is this clerk of a man always interested in the affairs of the state in negative ways? Always instigating violence among the ethnic groups in the state. Does he think equity people do not have elders who can also speak up in support of Mwike in the rivers, in the state. Uh, he is a big woman, can you imagine? So wicked. Mwike is doing well. Evil supporters. Hmm. Clark comes from Niger Delta. No, 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 no. Mwike, your father and elder brother is the one instigating violence in rivers state. Rivers people, the riverine people, knows wiki very well there is no reasonable equity man that will support wiki or are you hearing any voices wiki has lost that his uh, political structure okay that he wanted to preserve he said that clark a reverse man no it's a data statement so why where is he from is he in a bad shape politically and economically what did he do Mm. So this issue has turned to a job as a security challenge Nigerians. A job as a security challenge. Nigerians who do us Mwike finish his tenor without Amechi or Patience Jonathan. Exactly. So why won't he allow why won't he allow Fubara to run? Mm. So he uh intervened in Fubara leadership. This is very bad of us as citizens if really we want development. <laughs> Truth always bitter. Edda Edwin Clark is defending the Ejop nation in River State. All this hatred from Wiki is because he did not support to be. Woo! They are, they are talking their own. All these are talking from the West. All the people that support Wiki online are actually speaking from the West. What a funny world. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment.